Hello everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with our latest project to share with you. It's called the Eliza Double Album Set and it's been decorated in the gorgeous Klimt collection by Stamperia. They've taken and curated this collection of Klimt iconic paintings and backgrounds into the most eclectic collection of colour and crafting with it was really fun. So the project is our next Facebook Live project. If you like the project and you enjoy the walkthrough, you can join us. Um, details of the class are below. And in the class, you'll be taking chipboard and card, just basic chipboard and card. And I'll take you on the journey of how to get your basic supplies from this to this with your choice of papers. So for the sample, I've used the Klimt collection and I'll link to that below as well. So let's take you through the project. It is a double depth box, measures eight and a quarter by six and a quarter and it's closed with a hook lock. You can see this gorgeous background paper here. And on the top I've gone for the kiss Klimt's most iconic and famous painting and just use one of the chipboard pieces. So I've actually used a card from the collection, then a chipboard piece of the same image over the top and then added the phrase at the bottom. And I went for the blue to outline it, which you can see in the background across the kiss there. And that carries on down onto the spine as well. And then there's, Klimt was very um, famous for his gold and platinum use and the papers image that there's lots and lots of detail of gold and it's really it really does look like gold. Stamperia have excelled themselves with this collection I think and then we open the box and inside there are two mini albums they measure seven and a half by five and a half and there is one landscape one landscape and one portrait style album. This one's held in with magnets because it's in the lid of the box and this one is just tied in as it sits in the base. And I did forget to say I've gone for a portrait style box with a long picture but it could be decorated this way with a landscape style picture and open out. So that's a choice when making the project. Oops. And then we undo the ribbons and lift out the little albums. So the boxes themselves are two and a half inches deep. So deep enough to hold the albums with lots and lots of pictures inside and have room to decorate the front as well with your embellishments. So let's just move the box out of the way and bring in the albums. So it's quite a clever page design. Um, <clears throat> the page design fits both albums and there are three different elements that make up the inside covers and the pages in the album, all of which are shared in the class. So here we've gone for the chipboard elements and some of the lovely detail on the side. And then on the inside cover, both covers actually, we have got a sliding closure and then a fold up flap for ephemera, pictures, journaling, whatever you fancy putting in the fold up flap. And also a lift up flap here that will take a smaller picture so you could have something popping up on that. And then obviously room at the top for more pictures. So I've put some pictures in my album just so you can see what it looks like when it's got some images in. And of course then all the papers fall into the background and become that gorgeous backdrop for your focal point which is your pictures. So that's the closure, the slide enclosure that we cover in the class and then page style number one has lift up flap at the top. I put pictures on both sides and then it's got a pocket on the front of a fold down flap so you can pop your pictures in there as well. 
and also into the pocket and the whole thing closes. I've used paper clips to keep my pages closed but I will be showing you how to use magnets as well. And then each of the backs is just a large area to put your picture straight onto. Let's borrow the pictures. So the perfect size for your large six by four pictures. And I've done the two style albums so that you can put portrait pictures in one, landscape pictures in the other, and then keep them all together. And then our page style two folds out to the side. There's a nice pocket at the back here. You can tuck things in. I've just got a little tag here, but you can put pictures in there. I love this image, so I wanted to keep it in. It's Adele block bar I think and yeah she just fitted on the page and then the page opens out and you can pop your pictures across it to make a really lovely montage. I quite like to put them in with paper clips but you could of course you can stick them in too and then that all closes up. The pages have got gussets in so they sit nice and flat when they're full and then we're back to nice area for the picture on the back. Page style number one again. And then that pull out photo mat. And page style number two. With its pocket and its three surfaces for your pictures. One more area at the back and then another slide enclosure. So that's the technique that we'll cover in the class. So lots and lots of space in the album for your pictures. It's not fully loaded, so you can see there's plenty of room. And then here's the landscape album. So same page style, just added in a different way. And so we've got the sliding lockable pocket fold out page. I used the chipboard squares from the collection just to embellish the pages. There's my lovely uncle. So you can see we've got a nice area there, landscape area for your pictures. This one folds up, folds down and folds out. So again a nice run to display maybe a day out, in a solid area, and then we fold out again. Pull out photo mat, nice little tuck spot, and then the last page just folds out that way. Again, with a gusset, so plenty of room to put your pictures in and the page still stays, stays closed. And then right at the back, another sliding closure on that fold out section. So those are the two albums. They come in the gorgeous box. Let's bring the box in. <laughs> Tuck the ribbons in. And that all together makes up the Eliza double album set. So if you love the project and you'd like to join me in the Facebook Live class, follow the link below and that will take you over onto our website. You can watch the class after the event as well. Um, once you've got access and you've bought your place, you can go in and follow the pre-class videos and the live videos after the live event at any time. So um, don't be put off if you can't make the live. The classes are still available. So this is the Eliza double album set decorated in the Klimt collection, 12 by 12, 8 by 8 and the background paper with the chipboard elements and the die cuts. So I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough. I hope you love the project. I hope you can join me in the class. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel or click on that bell and then you'll receive notifications of new projects and products as they come out. Thanks for watching.